Hello fellows and ladies, it's time to review Monkey Man. This is the directorial debut of Dev Patel, who also stars in the film, and it sees Patel as a fighter who wants to get revenge on the dude who killed his mom, and also some corrupt leaders and wealthy assholes. This movie has made quite some noise. Dev Patel went through hell to make this, apparently. He broke lots of cameras and also his body. He had to use GoPros and cell phones for certain scenes. It was also shot during COVID. That's not fun. Jordan Peele came in and bought it out so it doesn't get dumped on Netflix. Thank you, Jordan. I cannot imagine what this would have felt like watching on Netflix. It would have been worse. And obviously, is Dev Patel directing himself in an action revenge thriller? We want to know, does Dev have the juice? And the answer is yes. To an extent. I do think the movie is pretty messy at times. I do think the movie tries to juggle this storyline of revenge, but also Dev Patel becoming this folk hero for this impoverished community. I do question how well he was able to connect those two. He did co-write the movie, so part of it is on him. But also, and I hate to say this, I kind of felt the sloppy storytelling in his direction and also with the editing. Many moments you go, why is this happening exactly? And also, what is happening? It's not a complicated story by any means, but I did feel this messy back and forth going on that didn't really work for me. First 40 minutes in particular, I was kind of like, can we move on? Obviously, the movie didn't have to just be action, action, action. And we do want some story to back up the action as well. However, in these 40 minutes, it felt like it was just the setup to the action, which usually is fine and can be entertaining. But in this case, it felt a little too dry and it didn't help that it was 40 minutes. I do think the storytelling picks up towards the end. I don't think it's fully coherent, but the folk hero stuff was kind of interesting. That said, when the movie hits, Fuck me does it hit. Dev Patel clearly had a passionate vision with this movie when it comes to its action and hand-to-hand -hand combat, and holy shit did he succeed. I do think it's worth mentioning that there's really only two, maybe three if you want to go there, action sequences in the whole film. I was certainly clamoring for more because I loved what Patel was doing here. And it is not for the fan of heart because holy shit is it dirty. It's brutal and fucking intense and bloody. There are many moments in this movie that made me go, oh, yes, kill that guy. And the third act is when the action peaks, mainly because we finally have an emotional reason to want Patel to kick ass. But also in the first action sequence, it's a little choppy, which I can also kind of see as intentional. I do see Patel wanting to, you know, because he's not as good a fighter in th these early scenes, and then he gets better towards the end, and I can see that being intentional. But also I do think it was a little like, I don't know, what the fuck's, what, what's happening? But in the third act, Patel implements these vicious long takes that are very John Wicky, but also very his own thing. I just can't possibly explain how stylish and badass the action in this movie truly is, because I honestly think it speaks for itself. I also think the third act when the folk hero thing is at its best. I don't fully know how earned this plot line was or the political stuff really lands, I, but I did feel the weight a little more towards the end. Not to spoil anything, but there's something involving drums that Battelle and the editor does that I really liked a lot. If this review seems short and lacking in depth, it's because there is truly not too much to this movie. It does wear its pros and its flaws on its sleeves. Yes, its storytelling is sloppy, but the action is so violent and brutal that it is going to be hard to forget Monkey Man anytime soon. I'm so excited to see what Dev Patel has going forward, and I'm going to give Monkey Man 7 Dev Patels out of 10. All right, that's, you know, that's a review. It's a short one, I know. It's shorter than, you know, a typical review should be, but I don't have that many opinions on Monkey Man. It's cool. It's really cool. Not a little sloppy. Well, like, subscribe, share, and um, quite frankly, I think I'm going to go beat up Dev Patel. I'm sure I'm going to win.